what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you are not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter at the hair life and the hair life official all right so i'm about to show y'all how to properly measure your hair for a custom wig or just to figure out your hair size for a pre-made wig. Um, your measurements are super crucial to the wig making process, especially if you're getting a custom made wig. You need to make sure that your hair is braided down however it's going to be up under your wig. So do not measure your head for a wig. Um, if your hair is in, like in a ponytail or in a bun, um, anything like that, anything other than how it will be up under your wig, it will alter your measurements and your wig will be ill-fitted. So here's a chart of the measurements and these are pretty universal for all wig makers. So um, I do take the circumference, your front to nape, your temple to temple around back, the nape of neck. In addition to those, if you get a frontal wig, I will need the ear to ear over top. So we're gonna go over those right now. The first measurement you're going to take is your circumference and you wanna make sure that your measuring tape is not over your ears. You wanna make sure that it's on your actual head and you wanna make sure that it is around the complete nape of your neck. So I will turn around so you guys can see exactly what I mean. Next up, we have your front to nape. So you're gonna place your measuring tape at your hairline and you're going to make sure that you go all the way down to the nape of your neck, making sure that your measuring tape is in the middle of your head. Next is going to be your temple to temple measurement. So you're gonna place the beginning of the measuring tape at one temple and you're gonna go around the back of your head at the most curved part of your head and bring it around to your other temple. And that is your temple to temple measurement. Next we have the nape measurement. This will be your last measurement for a closure wig and you're just measuring the nape of your neck, placing the measuring tape at one side of your nape going across to the other side of your nape. And last but not least, if you're getting a frontal wig, you're going to need your ear to ear measurement over the top of your head. So take your measuring tape on the top of your ear, go across the top of your head, not too far in front, not too far in back, right on the top of your head to the other ear. This measurement is used for your frontal to know how much you need to cut off for your ear tabs. So like mine is an 11 and a half. And if I were to sew that frontal down to where it's like at a 12, 12 and a half, then I would have to cut into the thread, if that makes any sense. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye.